Disclaimer, all the character incidents are fictional, everything is imaginary in this episode, so don't compare it, but their own life is just based on imagination. You put your palms on your face, mom was right. He were not that stupid I thought. Well, okay, someday he had to know the truth. Everything happened for our good. Why don't you look at the door? You immediately rushed to her, your eyes roaming all over her. Are you okay? What will gonna happen to me? I am fine. Does not they kidnap you? She raised her eyebrows and shook her head. Who say that? You opened your mouth in shock. How dare him? He tricked me. How? You look at her. He married me. Really? I thought we have to make another plan of this. And how this happened? And where is he? You press your lips together. It's another mystery, he said. He will leave for me from this eight years. What? Seriously? You nodded. It's mean he know you before. Maybe. Think about it later. Let's do for what we came here. Yeah. Go and change your dress. She unzip her back and give you a black lace dress. You kick the door and open it. What are you doing, Anna, darling? She pushed her aside. No warning is working in my profession. She reached to her and gave a hard slap on her. Then she looked back at you. You pulled up your hand and clapped. Impressive girl, you are getting better than before. Uh, of course, I know, I know. You walk towards the mirror, just look at me how beautiful I am looking in this spider dress. She wear her black coat. I don't have time, let's talk about it, about your beauty later, my love. You roll your eyes, my jealous bestie. You instantly remove your Makeup and jewelry, you wear the black dress with black coat. Hurry up, Brian. We don't have time. Five minutes. You take off your ring too. You take off your ring and put it inside your bag. She slowly opened the door. Brian, let's go. You press your lips together. I'm coming. You went out. After three hours, are you sure this is the right address? Yeah, you check the location from your phone. You look around. I think this one. Why don't think about it again? It's looking like horror. You narrow your eyebrows and gaze at her. Anna, let's go. I'm not afraid. Good. You smile. You walk towards the door. It, there was a name printed outside of the house. You unlock the door. It was dark inside. You turn on the light in your hand. You look down to the floor. It was an old and probably covered with dust. You look straight, the furniture was looking old, the photo was on the wall, also was covered with dust. Your aunt li- used to live here, yeah. Why not look what I found? Before you look at her, you heard a sound which in- instantly forced you to look at the wall. Oh, my wife is in the middle of her mission. Why not camera? She pointed on the wall. You smile and spoke near the mic. Or investigating something, or should I say... You are solving a mystery. He ruined my plan again, but you bite your lips. How he know I come here? Cause he is keeping eye on us. You press your lips together. N- let me make this game a little interesting then. He spoke in a mic. Someone locked the door from outside. Why didn't he? You grab her wrist and shook your head. First, that do for what we came here. I will see him later. Here is the camera. He's keeping eye on us. That's him. We don't care. They close the door. You close your arms around your chest. It's not the first time we're stuck in that kind of situation. We will escape from here, but after completing our work. She nodded. You sat on the floor and unzip your bag. Give me that tissue paper. She covered all those cameras with those tissue papers. You got up from there and started checking the whole house. You unlock the door, you look all around, when you did not find any camera, you take steps towards the bed, you sat on your toes, in the front of dra- drawers, you pulled first, second, third drawer, but all of them was locked. Why are you feeling like there is something inside those drawers? You forward your hand towards uh, your hair and pulled a hairpin, you unlock the first one and there you found a diary. After half hour. Did you find something? I think we need to go. It's getting late. She gazes at you. Are you alright? You are sweating. I am 
Okay, nothing happens to me. You walk towards the window. Let's go. We will come back again. I'm sure next time we will find something. Hmm. You walk with her while looking down. Still, I can't believe he placed cameras there. Oh my god, as expected. What happened? You look up. There he was standing in the front of his car. You make a tight grip on your back. I still can't believe your mom was expecting he will help us. Don't say like that. What did you say? Did you switch your side? It's not like that, Anna. You are still sweating, Ryan. Are you okay? Let's go, Ryan. Your feet stop in the front of the car where he was standing. She is not going with you. I did not ask. Anna, let me go. I will be back at night. He raised his eyebrow. From now, you will live with me. We are married. Mr. John Jonko, this marriage is because you hold her hand and shook your head. Anna, he is right. What happened to her? Some minutes ago, she was angry on him and now... You gaze plastered on his hand. Your head was lowered. Every after second, you clear your throat. You blink your eyes and try to hold your tears. So you read my diary. You erase his eyebrows. You press your lips together. It's mean you did not know about it before. I don't know what to say, but I'm really sorry. If it's all happened because of me, I apologize. Flashback. Your heartbeat increased. The tears fell down from your cheeks. It was his diary you read. How are you, my daughter? So it was all your plan. You did not have any sister. That was right. You again lied. This house, you said your sister lived. It's actually you. You lived here. You press your lips together. I know what you are thinking, but I did because of your own good. And that guy you told me to get married, he's your son and I'm your stepdaughter. Tears escape from your eyes. It's half truth. You know how you embarrass me? You think... I need you. I was 14 years old, mom. Even you can't come, I will survive without you. I swear, if I ever know what you left behind because of me, your mom spoke. Please stop it. It's half truth. You really? He loves you. How he lived without you? Bye. You hang up the call and look down to the diary and she will run to you again when you read this line. I will marry her. I will ruin her. Broke her the way I am broken because of her. I will take revenge from her. Back to the story. Sorry, really? Your story can fix everything? It's starting raining. Stop the car. You look at her, him. Get out. What? You want me to repeat myself? I said get out. But where will I go? It's raining outside. It's none of our business because now you know why we got married. So prepare yourself for this. You open the door and went out. Find my mansion and come by your own. You'll, he left you in the street. It was raining. Your clothes were getting wet. But luckily you wear black color. It's all happened because of you, mom. It was night and you were walking in the road alone. You are not scared from anything because it's the first. It's not the first time you survived more situation than this. I did not even know his address. You dial a number. Hello, Tyang. I need your help. I am in... When you come Korea and why did not you tell me? Just don't ask me questions. Pick up me if you are in Seoul. Yeah, I'm in Seoul. Just wait. I'm coming in some minutes. Are you alright? You whip your face with towel. Yeah, I am fine. Do you know Jeon Jungkook? Of course, our whole country know him. I want to go his mansion. I don't know his address. Why you want to go there even if you know her address? Still, no one let you enter. We got married, unfortunately. What? How and when? Today, it's a long story. I will tell you later. But now, tell me his address. He dropped you in the front of his house. Thanks, bro. Welcome. You step out of his car and went towards the big gate of his mansion. It's not shocking for you because you also lived in a big mansion. Well, you came in the wrong place. I am Ryan, his wife. Is not Jeon Jungkook's mansion? Yeah, but you can't come. I have an order for not let enter the girl named Ryan. And here he start taking revenge from you every way he can. But you are Ryan. You are trained for that kind of little things. You look up to the window. He was standing there. If 
you suffer, suffered because of me, then let you do whatever you want till you get satisfied. You sat near the gate, leaning against the wall. Next day, you open your eyes where I am. You look at the ceiling and then around you. Look down to your clothes. You was in white hoodie and pants. Who changed my clothes and where I am? I am in his mansion. Where is my phone? You understood that he take your phone and if you want you can get it back but you do not want to say anything about it someone opened the door and come inside he placed food on the bed you look down to the tray it's you clear your throat for you you look at him i you look down i don't eat seafood that's why i want you to eat one month later in this one month he makes you do all the things you feared he makes you stand in the rain in the middle of the night. He makes you eat seafood even you get sick after eating. The fear of snake, the fear of high, the fear of sea. Now you can swim. He change and spin your life yourself in 80 degrees and try to broke you every possible way he can. He try to take his revenge every way he can. But, but I am when I passed in every test I stepped. If he is a player, then I can play this game with my innocent face and with my sharp mind. You were watching TV till he come back home. You use your phone behind his back and try to make yourself ready for the next test he take of yours. Technically, he is making me more strong. I do not have reasons to hate him. My schedule was too enough in these five years after I become mafia queen in Italy. My fighting skill is more better than him. I can escape in 10 seconds if I want, but I feel come, like I'm come in vacation. I'm trying all those things I hate, and it's interesting. You change the channel and stop in the front of Kate Owens, but I hate one thing in him. We married when he said he would ruin me, but he never come closer to me. Mom tried to contact me, but I did not pick up his call. I'm angry on her. She have to apologize not to me, but at least to her son. Someone opened the door. Your eyes become wide. He was Jungkook. He was injured. His guard helped him to made him to sit in the couch. You went to him. What happened to you? You are alright. How you got injured? Nothing. It's just minor. He immediately spoke. Minor? You can't walk by yourself. I am fine. Nothing happens to me. Call your doctor. Jungkook It's not a little thing. I hurt her every day, but she is worried about me. He felt his heart was getting melted for you. Give me your phone. I will call your doctor. I cleaned his mouth and bandage in his arm. But when he sleep, I call his doctor because his health was not good. I did not want to show, but I was worried about him. Even nothing is between us, but still, I can change the fact that he is my husband and I am his wife. I have to worry about him. I give him medicine, make sure he take care of himself. And then he wake up. He will wake up in some hours. He bowed and went out. You look at him and went towards him. Good night. You turn off the light. And he opened his eyes. Why I'm feeling guilty after seeing me after seeing her caring about me is not that what I want. I want to hurt her. Then why this feeling now? After four hours, you open the door. He was wake up. You wake up. You place the bowl on the table near the bed. I make soup for you. His gaze meet with yours. Stop this act of yours. Think whatever you want. I don't care, but drink this soup and eat your medicines. You turn back, but he spoke. Why you are doing this? Like you are worried about me? Remember the first time you said I take you in his house because I didn't want to left you before I take my revenge from you. I'm still perfect and I want you to prove me more till you get satisfied. So you have to be healthy for this, right? And you make him chuckle and tense at the same time. His behavior was changed after that day. Now at least he is not behaving that cold and rude. Now not that soft too. He was sure there was something inside him which stopped him. He tried to avoid you as much he can. He apologizes for his behavior and you forgive him. Because now you can spend your day without seeing him. And end your day without his rude argument. But now he is changed. He lower his gaze when you come in the front of him. You knock the door. Jungkook, it's me. Can I come in? He did not respond. So you come open the door. 
Jungkook, you look around, he was not there. You come out from the bathroom, your eyes become wide after seeing him without his shirt. You immediately cover your eyes with your palms. I'm here, Ryan. He look at you and try to hide his smile. He stepped towards you. I am here. He stopped in the front of you, I said. I just came to tell you that I'm just going back Italy in a week because I think now you are not. He grabbed your waist and pulled you closer to him. Your hand pressed against his chest. Your eyes meet with his. Remember I told you you are stuck with me. Life too mean you are stuck with me forever. Life and after life. You can stop me. I can and you know it very well. You pull it as to me. You do not take your revenge from me anymore. Then why you want me to stay here? He pulled you more closer. I think you forget our relation. We are married. Couples live together. We are not couple. At least not by heart. You try to push him. How much time it will take to be a happy couple by heart? He spoke with a smile on his lips. I never been in a relationship, so I don't have any experience. Really? Then see how many minutes I take to make you fell for me. You immediately shift your eyes on him when he said minutes. Minutes? He leaned closer to your lips. I can easily hear your heartbeat. Still, how can you say it can't beat for me? Your cheeks turn red. Now you are blushing, still saying you don't have any experience. Now, do you have any plans to make me back for this? You point on your on his lips. First, let me apologize because I didn't want to start a relation with those bad memories. It was not your fault. You suffered. It's not because of you. I'm sorry. I never hurt you again. Come on, I already forgive you. I don't need your apology. Then what you need? After three months later, we come for our honeymoon trip in Italy because now he is ready to meet his mom. And still you both are unaware from the truth, real truth. You look at him, then you knock the door. Your mom opened the door with a smile on her lips like she know you both will come. I know you both will come. You rise so well. You are so heartless. She smiled with the tears in her eyes. I am not heartless. You are just unaware from the real truth. She tell him the truth. He was unaware from his childhood. He w- it was shocking for Jungkook and Wayan too. Your dad divorced me on the night I did not left you by my own will. And Wayan's dad on that night too. So I come here and I lied. Needs me. Actually, it was me who needs someone by my side, and Ryan is my child, not my stepdaughter. It's me. I am. She nodded. And that was the untold truth. I thought you will be the best person for her, so I lied her that I have a sister in Korea, and Ryan have to find her with your help, and you will help him just after you both get married. After one year, it was hard for you to accept but not impossible. Now, this mafia couple is, couple is perfect family. Jungkook, you will spoil her. He carry her daughter in his, his arms like I spoiled my wife. She threw a pillow on him. He laughed. And this was the hardest ever for me to write. The end. Bye bye.